And now Gavin, the third candidate to be fired from The Apprentice. Gavin, how are you, fella? Not too bad. A bit gutted, but you know, chin up. Yeah, it went wrong right at the beginning. Basically, um, we, we cocked up with the phone books. Um, I'm from Liverpool, we only have one phone book for the whole of the city. London has 25 million different phone books. Yeah. I didn't realise we were all looking at different phone books. We had two people who, who live in London, they didn't clock on that we were all looking at different phone books. No, I, I've got a, a, an internet business. Yeah. Everything I, I'm online all day, every so day. So you were banned from, from doing Banned from it. Obviously, it's not, it's not um, you know, we're not going back in time. You wouldn't use the yellow pages to locate right. items. Well, honestly, like, I, I don't normally wear top hats. Um, it's not something that, that I've, I've ever had to go I don't wear them so much anymore. No, they, they've gone a bit out um, yeah. lately. Um, so trying to find somewhere that sold a top hat was ridiculous. You know, trying to, it was unbelievable. Um, the corner of my eye, we're driving along 40 miles an hour. I see top hat just coming up, past in the shop. I thought there'd be a place called uh, Top Hats R Us, or you know, we sell top hats, yeah. and there was just nowhere with top hats in the name. So, but you so found one. We, we found somewhere that says Top Hats in it, and that was the closest thing we got um, to that point. And tell, tell, tell them what it was in the end. What well, basically, I went into the shop to ask whether they knew somewhere that sold top hats. I didn't go in there to buy top hats. But for for those that haven't yet seen the episode, it was, it was a top hat. It was just called top hat cleaners. It was wasn't called it? top hat laundrette. So <laughs> so there was a possibility that as a prop um, for their business, they would have a top hat in the window. Yeah. You know, it could it could have worked out. Right. So, do you go into Gap and ask if they've got any gaps or...? Yeah, yeah, I went into, um, I went into my local laundrette and asked them if they sold suits as well. Brilliant. Because they do suits, but... You'd go to sell fridges and yeah. see if they sell... Yeah, you know... Fridges. We could go all day, couldn't we? We could, yeah, yeah. we could, I've got all day. Yeah, they, they did, but you know, that's, that's part of, the, part of the, the entertainment bit of the show, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it, it's, so you're quite it's, happy to go along with it. Yeah. Because yeah. Edward was infuriated. I know, yeah. He was made to look so stupid yeah. that he couldn't possibly be that stupid. No, I think you've got to, you've got to laugh at your, you know, you've got to be able to have a laugh and laugh at yourself. You know what you do when you, when you enter the process like this and you've got to be able to um, have a laugh about it and, yeah. and not be too bitter if, if you get knocked out. I was in work the following day. Um, well, you had to go back to work the next day. Yeah, well, it's my own business, so obviously I, I was out, I was out with for long enough. And, and what I, is the business? Um, I sell glasses online. Amazing, as, as you can see, yeah, I, I model them well. Little Ray Bans yeah, there. Glasses one two three. That's called that UK. Did I miss that? Glasses one two three. That's called. What? Glasses one two four. Co. UK. One two one two two. Co. UK. Perfect. Okay. I think they were in Peckham. In Peckham, yeah, okay, yeah. but then they film you walking it was, around. Uh, it was like Holy Fields and Orses, you know, the flats where they live in. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah. So you go up, and then obviously, I think they've done a whole floor out really, really, really nice. Really partial, corrugated really steel. Um, so I was surprised I was being outside there, but once you got up to the, the main floor, um, yeah. obviously, you know, it, it was quite nice. Well, we've got an open top bus and that I'm going to go through, yeah. through through Liverpool in. Followed by a gig at the Cavern Club. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Um, Kenny Dalgley should be there. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to go out with the with the team yeah. the, um, at Anfield and I, I think they're going to make an announcement and, and just, you know. Stevie Gerrard's had had your face tattooed on his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he poked me on Facebook as oh, well. did he? So yeah, that, did that he, was a... He enjoys was, a poke. It was a good moment, it was a good moment. Um, obviously he's a, he's a favourite of mine and for him to look at me and say, Right, I'm really, you know, I, I wish I could be a bit more like Gavin. Um, yeah, that was well, a, a great honour. It was a good moment for Stephen Gerrard to say that. Yeah, I'm on Twitter. Um, What's your handle? My handle is um, glasses123 um, on Twitter. Um, and again, and uh, you can also contact me at info at glasses123. And um, I have a website as well that you can do a direct message to me on and that's a uh, um, uh, gl grinder it's glasses one two three okay. dot co dot uk you on grinder at all you use grinder much on no, no 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 i don't no no not really <laughs> <laughs>